there is a conflict, women also experience different than men. Because of, like, you know, because of distribution of labor, women have to search for food, you know, like, you know, and, and it's a daily duty. And there's a conflict happen. There's like, you know, resources are scarce, and women have to struggle with that. Gender-based violence, such as rape, as you know, like, as we, we know, in the case of Burma, there was a like kind of experience of gun rape, like every country in the world where has experienced war. So that's also happened. And, and yet, in Burma, women involved in informal peace process, but never be in formal peace process. So women know what is it like to be, live in war zone. What is their experience? Women experience in war zone must be hot and must be like you know, learn, must learn from this experience, and they can apply into peace process and peace negotiation. So, if we acknowledge that women need to be involved in the peacekeeping process, what actually needs to happen to implement that? It's like you know, it's a training process and like a decision making process, a women capacity building process, because like you know, women often they you know like you know, generally speaking, they consider women are not less educated, you know, less educated, so they cannot lead or make a decision for themselves or for their communities. Even though informal peace process, women largely involved. Whenever it turns into formal process. They are handicapped by such as lack of capacity, lack of education. Mm, education is often the key to these, um, Absolutely. To these solutions, isn't it? And what's education like in Burma? Um, well, like, you know, 20 years of the military roles have destroyed, you know, like an educational system. Recently, I went back to Burma after um, 20 years of absence, and I went to see university. The universities are surrounded by overgrown grasses, and also like a classroom are locked. So this is the education. And also, the government allocate 52 million, 52 percent of GDP on military expenditure, whereas two percent is allocated to health and education of the people. Mm.